Who said that to us? Are you Carol? I'm Carol. Hi, Carol. So we, now, you better I, be Carol. So now, how can I ask you to read my poems? <laughs> I said I'm just the 89. You stole my th thunder. <laughs> It seemed to me to be like reading the line breaks. Going to poetry readings in the library. So maybe Stern Country is like the place where people come with their broken hearts and mend something, you know, craft something out of their, their wounds. He's really a poet of the egotistical sublime. The I stands in for the natural world and for the whole world and that he's experiencing everything himself. He knows how to get into some particular uh, zone or groove of, uh, 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 that's entirely his own and uh, entirely unique and uh, deeply human. I think he has earned uh, a place, certainly in contemporary poetry, and time uh, will tell us about the, the permanency. And I hang on. I'm 82 now. I'm hanging on. I'm going to keep living till I do it. I have to do it. It's like a sense that I have to do it and that I've not done it. You know, an artist really doesn't really know the answer. He writes or he paints partly because he doesn't know the answer. More than other people, an artist doesn't know the answer or feels that he doesn't. And he spends his life doing what he does because of that in part. Sometimes I think I lived a wrong life. It wasn't poetic enough that I was too much a family man, I was too much involved with working and for others, and stuff like that. I like what Edith Piaf said. <laughs> she said, moi, je ne regrette rien. La, I, me, I don't regret nothing. Da, 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 da. But you can't go around saying you regret nothing. What gives me sustenance and Pleasure. I've been recently reading some of my own older poems. I don't do that a lot. I read, and I was saying, damn, some of these poems are good. Did I write that? How did I write that good poem? And that gives me kind of victory over regret. Me trying to understand, say, say with, when, say, say whither, whither, say what, say me with a pencil walking, say, reading the dictionary, say, say learning, learning medieval Latin, Latin reading Spangler, reading, Spangler, reading, reading Whitehead. Whitehead, William James, I loved him, swimming breaststroke and thinking for an hour, how did I get here? Or thinking in line, say, the 69 streetcar, or 68 or 67 Swiss Vail, that would take me elsewhere. Me with a textbook reading the pre-Socratics, so badly written, whoever the author was, me on the floor of the lighted stacks and sitting cross-legged, walking afterwards through the park or sometimes running across the bridges and up the hills, sitting down in our tiny dining room, burning in a certain way, still burning. <laughs> You know, I gotta tell, oh, I hate, this is a story, but I don't have time to tell you. Yes, you My do. friend Al Jackson, who I talked with 50 years ago, he was in Egypt, he's wearing a big leather coat down in here, it's 110 degrees. He's having tea in the morning with these Egyptians, at a, at a, and he's about to cross the Suez, uh, not the, about to cross, I guess the Suez, to go on, and they said to him, big guy, he played in the Rose Bowl for Michigan, played in the 1949s, they said, one more song, Mr. Jackson. And he gets on the boat, and there's a guy naked, practically, about to pull him. And he couldn't think of what to sing. <laughs> Finally, he sings. He's at the boat pulling off. We're in Egypt, 1950, and he's singing, Give my regards <laughs> to Broadway. Remember me to Herald Square. Tell all the gang at 42nd Street, I will soon be there. And he's singing this song. Incredible. Al Jackson. Goodbye, guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming.